Hey everyone, welcome back to the kitchen for another video. So we all know how to throw a bunch of healthy ingredients together, but making them taste good so that we actually enjoy them is important. And the easiest way to do that is with a delicious sauce. However, we know that store-bought sauces sometimes aren't the healthiest, they're not the freshest, and the good quality ones are often quite expensive. That's why it's always best to make them at home yourself. So that's why today I'm excited to share with you three easy vegan sauces that you can use on just about any meal and that'll also give you an example of a dish that you can have with each of them. These sauces are all super simple at around five ingredients and the best part is that they are pretty much fat-free sauces so you can absolutely drench your food and flavor without adding a bunch of extra calories. So I have put some timestamps in the description box below so you can jump to any of the recipes that you want and I've also put the recipes in the description box below to make it easy for you. So if you appreciate that, hit the like button because I would appreciate you doing that for me. So the first one I'm going to show you is a garlic ginger dressing. I absolutely love this one. It's nice and fresh and sharp and it's got some good zing to it. And it's a no blend sauce so it's really quick to whip up and I kind of love sauces like this because they have like little bits in it that kind of like hang out on top when you put it on your food and add just like a nice pop of flavor. So anyways, let's get right to it. In a jar, add a half a cup of water, a tablespoon plus one teaspoon of soy sauce or tamari. Make sure you use gluten-free soy sauce if you need to. Two cloves of garlic, peeled and then grated with a rasp. A rasp is like a really fine grater and it's actually a really handy tool to have in the kitchen. I use it a lot more than I thought I would when I bought it. A one to two inch piece of ginger and again grated with the rasp. So I just leave the skin on because it grates it so fine you don't even really notice it at all and it's totally edible so why go through the trouble. A whole green onion sliced nice and thin. And then if you like it spicy, a quarter of a teaspoon of chili flakes. Yo, how cool is this little mini whisk that I recently found? I think there's actually a smaller one that came with it. <laughs> yeah, check this out. So good, because you guys know how much I like mixing up sauces, so I thought these would be perfect for me. This sauce would obviously be great on a bunch of different things, like a Buddha bowl with some rice, could probably even have it on a salad, but what I really love it on is something like this buckwheat, tofu, and veggie noodle dish. So let me show you how I made this. I started by boiling some buckwheat noodles, then sauteing some broccoli and cubed tofu in a touch of sesame oil and a spoonful of that garlic ginger dressing that we just made. Then I ran a carrot through the mandolin slicer, thinly sliced some cabbage, plated all of that, added some sliced radish on the side, poured on that sauce, and then topped with some roasted peanuts. All right, wow, so that is so flavorful. It doesn't look like there's a ton of sauce on here, but man, that sauce has got some punch. The ginger and the garlic is amazing. It's so fresh, and then the salty tamari and everything else, it's incredible, especially in this bowl. Wow, I'm gonna enjoy this. But first, I've gotta make another sauce, so let me show you guys the next one. So the next one is a roasted red pepper and tomato sauce. This one is so simple, but has such like a nice deep, rich flavor and then a nice fresh hit from the shredded basil. Man, you are gonna love this one. So what you have to do first is start by roasting a red bell pepper. And I'm just gonna cut mine in half and then roast it in the air fryer. Should take about 15 minutes. If you do it in the oven, it'll take a little bit longer. So while that's cooking, you might as well put the rest of the ingredients into the blender. Half a cup of veggie broth. So this veggie broth I actually made out of this better than bouillon. So it's kind of like from a concentrate. It's maybe a little bit stronger than normal veggie broth, but man, is it ever good. If you're not into this stuff yet, get into it. It's amazing. One clove of fresh garlic and a tablespoon of tomato paste and then a pinch of salt and pepper. And then once the red pepper's done, it'll sort of look like this. The skin kind of wrinkles, get some burn spots on it. It's ready to be thrown into the blender. And then just blend this up until it is smooth. Then I'm gonna thinly slice six or seven fresh basil leaves and add that to the sauce. So I did try it where I blended this right into it, but it made the sauce like kind of dark and sort of murky colored. And uh, the bright red color of the sauce is just so nice. So you'll still get the flavor of the basil in there, but you know, it won't change the color at all. So a nice easy way to chop it really thin is to stack all the leaves and then roll it up like this. And then it makes slicing really easy. Quick mix. So this would obviously be really good on some pasta. The other day I actually had it on top of some sauteed tofu, which was really nice. But today I'm gonna make a really quick chickpea and veggie stir fry to have it with. 
There's just something about chickpeas and tomato-based sauces that just like seem to go really well together. So let me whip that up really quick. Into the frying pan, some chopped onion, a can of chickpeas, and then just some frozen mixed vegetables. Once that's all done cooking, just toss it all into a bowl, add some of that delicious sauce, top with some green onion, and there you go, one quick and delicious meal made from scratch. Mm. Wow, that's easy to eat, man. Probably just gonna pour the rest of the sauce on here. So this one's really good too, like a really nice combination of being a little bit tomato-y, a little roasted red peppery, got some of that garlic in there, and then the fresh uh, basil. Man, it is perfect. All right, so this next one is delicious. Maybe my favorite out of the three. It is so fresh, and I've absolutely been loving cooking with fresh herbs lately. So this one is packed full of them. So this is like a fresh herb Dijon dressing. So yeah, let me show you how it's made. All right, so this is another blended one. So you're gonna need a blender and then half a cup of parsley. So I know this is kind of like tough to measure and kind of a vague measurement, but just sort of cram it in there. So there we go. And then a half a cup of fresh cilantro, stems and all. Might as well if you're blending it. So I know there's gonna be some people out there that do not like cilantro. So if you don't, uh, maybe just do more parsley. You could always add basil as well, but it's pretty good like this. One clove of garlic. The juice of a lemon. One tablespoon of Dijon mustard. So you could probably use spicy brown mustard as well, or like greeny mustard for this, but this Dijon mustard is just perfect for this. And then a half a cup of veggie broth. And then blend it up. So it blends up pretty thin. So if you wanted to make it thicker, you could always use less veggie broth. You could add some avocado while you're blending it, or some tahini or something like that. Um, but it's still really flavorful. So this one, like the other ones, would be good on a whole bunch of different things, but for something that is like so fresh tasting like this, it is just screaming to me, put me on top of a nice colorful salad. So I'm gonna throw one of those together really quickly. So I'm gonna start with some nice fresh green leaf lettuce, some purple cabbage, red bell pepper, some jicama, so you'll have to let me know in the comments down below if you've ever tried jicama. It's definitely worth trying if you ever see it in stores. It's used a lot in Latin American countries and uh, it's good just raw like this. You want to cut it up kind of small. It has a similar consistency to apple and it's not overly flavorful but it has this really nice sort of mellow sweetness to it that is really nice on salads. I'm sure there's other ways you can use it too but I'm just happy putting it on my salad. A little shredded carrot from the death machine. <laughs> So I think what I'm gonna do is to drizzle a little bit of tahini on this salad first, and then pour some of that green dressing on top of that. So it's gonna give the dressing a little something to stick to, a little bit more contrast, and those two flavors are gonna be really nice together. Then I'm just gonna to top it with some pumpkin seeds, some red onion, and that is one delicious looking salad. Mm, wow, yeah, that one is just so fresh, so good on a salad like this especially with like all the fresh flavors and then like the crunch of everything and oh man, I am loving this. This is gonna be really easy to eat. All right, so that's it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it and I hope you get some use out of those sauces. Definitely tag me on Instagram if you do make them and if you wanna see some more sauce videos, I definitely have lots more. I'll put them up at the end here. So thank you for watching. Subscribe so you can see more and I'll see you soon in another video. Here's some other videos of mine that I think you might like. And if you're looking for some delicious and healthy plant-based recipes, check out my new recipe ebook, Easy Vegan Comfort Meals. It contains over 60 plant-based recipes, lots of delicious sauces that I know you're gonna love. Thanks for watching and thanks for the support.